Today I am going to tell you how to lap safety valve disc. So before starting the lapping, we have to take a lapping plate which should be flat without any single scratches. And you have to take compounds. Emery paper needed also if uh, the surface is uh, very scratchy or damaged so you have to uh, lap it on first. You have to lap it on emery paper. After that you have to start on emery compound. So the compound you have to take the rough one and the fine one. The rough one we consider in the lapping of safety valve is uh, 400 and the 1000 we consider is in uh, fine lapping. So first you take everything with you and then start lapping. So now I have applied that 17.3 microns which is uh, 400 emery. So I am going to make it flat first. So in the safety valve actually the flatness is more important than the shining. Mostly people do it shining, too much shining, use a lot of uh, diamond compounds. So first we have to be careful about the flatness. If the disc will be flat so there will not be any leakage. So now this is a small size of disc. So for this one we have to make it flat nearly 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of making it flat then we have to go for the final lapping with the fine compound. So while doing the rough lapping you have to run the disc all over the plate. With the help of this one we will make flat the plate also and the disc too. So you have to run the disc all over the plate to make it flat. So both will be flat at a time. So this flatness will work at the time of final lapping with the fine one. With the fine lapping the plate should be 100% flat without scratches. Otherwise if the plate will not be flat so the disc will never be flat. If there will be scratches in the plate so will be scratches on the disc also. While running the disc on the plate, you have to be sure that your balance is equal to all over the disc. If your finger will not be balanced, it will not be flat. So I have finished the rough lapping, so now I am going to start the fine lapping. So before starting the fine lapping, you have to be sure that the plate is flat and there are no single scratches. Because if there will be scratch, so those will leave the particles and will make damage to the disc. So uh, before lapping the fine one, now I have applied the 1000 compound. So before starting the lapping, I have to run a small lapping plate. If there are any particles in the compound or the plate is leaving any compound, so those will be gone in this process. After this one, I am going to lap the fine one. So in the final lapping you have to run the disc in the circular motion, not like that rough one. You don't have to move too much the disc otherwise at the it will get scratched. So. And remember one thing in the final lapping that you should not move your disc on just one position for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Otherwise the place of the lapping it will get deeper uh, because of moving this disc on just one place. So you keep changing the place or if the disc is bigger, so keep making it flat after 2-3 minutes after 2 minutes if the disc is big. So after 2-3 minutes of lapping you make it flat again with the help of a small plate and then start the lapping. But if the disc is smaller so you keep changing the place after 1 or 2 minutes. So it will not get deeper if the plate is uh, uh, leaving the particles, small particles. Obviously it will leave the small particles so it will not be scratched. It will change the place continuously. And remember one thing that the emery compound should not get dried. It will get dried so the plate and the disc will be contacted with each other and your disc will be scratched. After lapping after 15 minutes at various spots, now we have to see it has scratches or not or it's flat or not. So the simple way to find the flatness is you need to run it on a paper and you have to see if the seating area is in dual current, matte and glow, it means it's not flat. If it's the all seating area in the center, so it is flat. So I finished my final lapping, now I am going to start lapping with the diamond compounds. The yellow one is 6 microns, the green one is 3 micron, and the blue one is 1 micron. Remember the diamond compounds will not remove scratches, it is used only to make it shine. In the diamond compounds, the more is rougher and the less is finer, not like the paper grid. In that paper one or that uh, American bond, the more is finer, the less is rougher. But in this one, the more is rougher, the less is finer. You can run it in circular or in 8 position, that's not a problem. The diamond will not disturb the seating area. It will not make it flat, not uh, remove the uh, scratches. Now I have finished the 6 micron compound. So uh, after 
After this, I will use the three microns and then the final one, the one micron, the smoothest one.